Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and today I'm going to show you how to apply a green screen effect in OBS Studio. All right guys, so I'm here within OBS Studio and I have a couple of elements on my canvas. I have the video capture, which is my webcam. I have a scrolling banner at the bottom. And if you're interested in learning how to make the scrolling banner within OBS Studio, I did a recent video on that and I'll put the link to that video up above. So let's get started. The idea behind green screen is to remove the background so that you can superimpose your video over a still image of a virtual set or a, a movie file like an MPEG-4, which you're going to see uh, later on in this video as well. But to get started, the first thing we have to do is make sure that everything in the background, now you can see my green screen behind me, we're going to make sure that everything in the background um, is green. So in order for me to do that, I have to crop out the rest of my studio and just leave the green screen behind me. So I'm going to do that by holding down the Option key. I'm working on a Mac and I'm going to select my video capture and just pull in the sides until I've removed the rest of the studio behind me and only displaying the green screen, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to move the green screen down to the corner and you can see I'm covering parts of the scrolling banner and that's okay for now. Once we apply the green screen effect and we remove this green area behind me, you'll see the black background pop through as well as the scrolling banner. So to get started but with applying the filter, let's right click on the video capture device and select filters from the pop-up menu. So in the effect filters area, let's just click on the plus sign and select chroma key, which is the official terminology for applying a green screen effect. I'm just going to leave it named default as chroma key and say OK. And now you can see the area behind me went gray. And if I move this out of the way, you can see how by applying the chroma key filter, it removed the entire background. Now, OBS Studio does a pretty decent job, as you can see, of removing the entire background. But if you look closely up in here, you can see that this area here is like dancing. It's, it's all of the green hasn't been completely removed. And even though it looks pretty good now in the black area, when I apply the um, movie background, you're going to notice uh, this area will stand out. And I'll show you how we can adjust that. But for now, you can see how the banner is scrolling behind me. And if I just wanted to leave my canvas like that with a black background, I would be done. However, Let's apply um, a different type of background. So I'm going to pull in that um, movie background I was talking about. And there you go. And now you can see uh, up in the corner of, I don't know if you can see this right here, up in the corner of my video capture, you can see where the green wasn't fully removed. So let's go back and click on the capture device and bring up the filters again. And I'm going to click on the chroma key. And now I have some adjustment tools here. So if I slide on the slider or I up use the up and down arrows, if I increase the similarity, you'll start to notice the green, will, the rest of the green will be removed. So let's, let's do it slightly. And I don't know if you can see it, but as I keep increasing, it's removing. And that's okay that the background went away. We can get that back just by applying the you know, media source one more time. Okay, so that looks pretty good up here. Still might be dancing. There might be some dancing green around it, but I think that's okay. And if we just turn off and turn on the background again, there you go. All right, guys. And now I can make, I can make my video source larger. I can move it around. And it's not perfect. As you can see, with a lighter background, you can see kind of a line going around my shirt and my hairline and that's the green spillover and you can play with these controls here and explore everybody's situation will be different depending on your uh, recording environment and your studio lighting is key so got you have to get your green screen lit uh, perfectly um, the better the lighting is the better the chroma key is going to be. And um, so yeah, play around with those um, 
play around with those settings and, and tweak it and, and have some fun with uh, using a green screen. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video on learning how to apply a green screen effect within OBS Studio. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, please like, and please share. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.